so today we shall discuss about stemming and lemmatization in NLTK and how do we perform this along with various examples. So let's just start with uh, the practical session. And I have renamed this uh, Python tree notebook with stemming. And we start with first importing. So what you write is simply import NLTK. And uh, if it is not downloaded, then you have to write NLTK dot download. Uh, mine has already been downloaded in C folder app data roaming. It goes in store itself. So you have to find it out. And uh, the link will be provided in the uh, description box so that you can understand how to go about this with the first tutorial. So now first let us understand, I will make you go walk you through two um, lemmatization stemmer techniques and that will be Potter stemmer and Lancaster stemmer, right? So Lancaster stemming and Potter stemming. So what are these two? Okay, converted into third heading. Now from NLTK, first of all, let's just import this package. Right? And then we can understand the meaning of it better once it is here in front of us. So NLTK.stem, because in the stem, you've got all these uh, packages stored. We will get this porter stemmer, right? And again, I'll create an object called porter, or you can create any object. And in that you saw this. Right, and after this, what I do is I will create what I'll do. I'll call this porter dot stem. I'll create this this thing, and let's write a word in what you have to stem. So I will write here an interesting word called spirituality. Okay, and let's see how porter stem works here. So you just run this, and you find this is spirit and you. Okay, you is also coming here. So this is what Potter stemmer works. So I'll walk you through this article, this blog, which I've written. It says that uh, stem, stemming just reduces the word or uh, the related words into their to their root. And this does not necessarily mean that it will convey any meaning, but it just breaks down the entire word into their root, right? This is how the stemming works. Now, if you want, now there are various ways or uh, various stemming algorithms which uh, are used in Python to stem the words. And uh, these algorithms, they use various stemmers like uh, English stemmer, uh, for English language, it is Potter stemmer, Lancaster stemmer. And for non-English languages, it is called Snowball stemmer. So we'll see the various languages which this Snowball stemmer really supports. And for Arabic language, you've got ISRI stemmer. And for Portuguese language, also you've got one stemmer, right? So uh, when you walk through, go through this entire uh, this thing, you will understand what is Potter stemmer and its various advantages. So this this is quite fast, and this is the oldest stemmer, 1960s. Sometimes it came. Now let's come to Lancaster stemmer and how does it work? So I've already um, from again from NLTK dot um, stem. I have to import this. Import uh, Lancaster. Okay, Lancaster stemmer, right? And then create an object called any any object you can name that. I'll just name that stemmer itself, and uh, just write here Lancaster stemmer, right? And now you call this. So I will write here Lancaster dot stem what again the same word so i'll write again the same word here and let's see how does this stemmer works okay so when you will run this you will find here spirit so can you find the difference between the two porter stemmer and lancaster stemmer lancaster stemmer is giving me some meaning out of this word rather than just stemming it so this is what stemming and different stemmer how does they how do they work now I'll walk you through another um, okay example here, and that is like now you can use it. Now you can uh, simply write use uh, with various examples like. 
so you can just write sorry for the disturbance and now it was like border dot stem and then you can write here like friendship right so you can just write friendship and see what does this stem friendship okay what if i do here friendships s has been s has been eliminated and it has been rooted to friendship what about lancaster stammer so I will write here Lancaster.stem again the same word I can write here so that we can just simply map the difference between the two and that is friend. Now you can see the difference. Okay, so Lancaster is much more uh, making more sense as compared to the Porter stemmer because it works like iteratively. So the working, if you want to go to the working of it, what happens is that it just works iteratively and uh, the algorithm what you what it does it tries to find with the help of some rules and it maps the last character of the word okay last character of the word and maps it through rule and if suppose there is no rule then it has been terminated so uh, the the disadvantage is that because of this iteration there's heavy there's heavy load and this heavy stemming and so when you've got this heavy stemming what happens is that sometimes um uh, you you may get no meaning or non-lingual uh, stemming, right? Stem words. So now uh, what I'm trying to say is now let's understand. This was just word stemming. Now what if, if you have to do some sentence stemming? So let's just go and see some sentences being. So let's just see the sentences stemming. Okay, how do we do this sentence stemming? So given a sentence, suppose I have a sentence, so I'll just copy the sentence from here so that it is it is faster. I have written this sentence and the sentence is like, life can be challenging, tiring, but the challenges lead to transformation. I run this and then I simply use border.stem and uh, simple right here, border.stem and I'm using border stemmer here. Now, can you see, I just get the same sentence back. It is not being stemmed. What to do now? You have to write, you have to make, um, define a function for this and you have to use both sentence and word tokenizer so that this just runs perfectly and each word in the sentence is being tokenized or it is being stemmed, right? So I will use this sentence tokenizer from NLTK. So from NLTK, if you've downloaded, we are using all the packages from NLTK. So it is important that you download it first. Right, and it is in the first tutorial of NLTK. Link is provided, and the video will also be shared. You can find it on the end screen. And so, what happens here is that you define a function called stem sentence, right? In that, you pass any sentence which you are having, and then in token words, you have this tokenized word tokenizer, and then you create another this thing, a list of stem sentence, and then run a for loop for that. And when you will run this you will find this being stemmed okay so how 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 you can see this this is can be life can be as you can say it is challenging has been removed to challenge and it is not e also here tire but the challenge lead to transformation now if you want to use here lancaster stammer just change into lancaster okay and then run this and now can you see this is just the same i don't think that this is the same there is a difference so that can be seen here when i will show you both the stemmers simultaneously so just write here porters.stem and uh, okay so tire tear and a little difference right in stemming so this was about sentence stemming now we shall come to stop words i want to show you okay before that let me show you something like snowball stemmer how how many languages does it support so let's just uh, see this snowball stemmer and again from nltk.download what i'll do is from again i have to call this nltk.stem what you do is import this snowball stemmer okay this is capital snow this is not capital mm, it's normal stemmer and then what you do is since i have to see all the 
languages, all the languages that they support. So I will simply call dot stammer dot languages just to get an idea of how many languages that they support. So you can see here French, German, Italian, Norway, Portuguese, Russian, Spanish, Swedish, and so on. Okay. Now I will show you something called uh, stop words. Okay. So this is just an addition just because simple stop words. So what, is, what are stop words in <clears throat> NLTK? So I will simply write here stop words or you can just write stop and then from NLTK.corpus. Now this is in the package corpus of NLTK and from there I am downloading or importing all these stop words and uh, these stop words have to be in English okay so what are all these stop words in English I will simply print this stop so lazy corpus object loader not callable okay dot stop words i think you have to write here dot words also and then you can go ahead and print this stop okay my mistake yeah so can you see this this is these are the stop words which means that these are not so significant in our text and we can simply do away with these words like I, me, myself, we, are, ourselves, you, that, do, this, while, until because they consume a lot of space in our text and if even if they are not there we can understand the meaning of the sentences. So now uh, just uh, if if you want to play around with this just write here print and if you want to see the length of these stop words so just write stop and you will get 179. Okay now coming to the next part of it and that is called lemmatizers. So what are these lemmatizers? Now this is something really interesting and it becomes very important when you really have to have the meaning of the sentences in terms of uh, in terms of the context. Okay, so context meaning or contextual meaning if you are concerned with then go for this lemmatizer. Otherwise we use stemming because it is past and it's quick actually sometimes meaning of the words doesn't matter so I'm using here from again from NLTK dot stem again you import what wordnet stemmer make sure that wordnet is being downloaded here and okay wordnet net lemmatizer now one thing is that you can lemmatize with various approaches and techniques but here I am using wordnet lemmatizer and you run this now um, we, I'll walk you through various lemmatizers also so here you have got lemmatizer and in that we will store this okay word net lemmatizer okay so what I do is I will just simply go and copy what I have done before and I'll show you the difference what does this do really and this is uh, really interesting because it preserves the part of speech of sentences so you do this you what I'm writing is here first word I'm using is swimming and then I will use this lemmatizer dot lemmatize swimming and pos I'm using this pos as verb the part of speech I'm using is as verb in the second one I'm not using any that means by default it is so by default, this is noun, okay? And A denotes adjective here. That is, I'm using better for this. Now, when you run this, what you will get? You get something like, for swimming, this has been converted to a verb called swim. And this corpora is being converted to corpus, which is noun by default, since I have not mentioned anything. Had I mentioned here, I'll do that later, but first understand this adjective that's better is being converted to converted to an adjective form of it and that is good. Now suppose if you just write here best and here what I'm doing is I am giving a pause, a, a part of speech and suppose let's take here, uh, 
adjective what does it give me okay not supporting not supporting so here for the best also again you've got good here what was what was the problem here i just need to find this out what if, if i do this verb invalid for print okay i need to close this by default is a noun so i have to use noun here lemmatization and okay it is giving me good corpora corpora corpus plural and singular form so this was about this lemmatizing. You can change the word here, cycling, it will come cycle, reading, it will come read, depending on the part of speech you are giving, whether it is verb, adjective, or adverb, any part of speech. So now I'm walking you through various types of lemmatizing techniques or approach to which you can lemmatize. So there are roughly like uh, 10 here, but you can, there are many. So we have used this word net with part of speech tag. There's WordNet, there's text blob, and then again text blob with POS. You have got Spacey, you've got Tree Tiger, Pattern, Gensim is there, Stanford Core, NLP is there. So these are, are the lemmatizers wherein you can really derive the meaning of the entire text depending upon its context. So the meaning is not lost. So this is the applications. If you want to go through the applications of stemming and lemmatization, mainly it is for text mining, for sentiment analysis, for document clustering so that you understand the entire document without losing its meaning. Okay. Various algorithms, Google, Amazon, so many uh, online websites use stemming and lemmatizing for their day-to-day -day applications. So now with stemmer to use, what to use, whether stemmers are to be used or lemmatizers, so it depends upon the task, it depends upon your work, your need. So you use stemmers when you really want good and fast results because speed is the focus, then you use stemmers. But when the meaning of the word is, is to be preserved in, in relation to the context, because sometimes two words are being used differently in various sentences. So you have to preserve that, that uh, authenticity, that originality of the sentences. So we have to use lemmatizers. So this is where you use lemmatizer and when meaning is not important, then we can use stammers. So these are these references and sources which you can follow to have a greater in-depth understanding of the same, right? So uh, I'll be providing the link and everything and do comment what else do you need for NLTK. This was a, just a basic tutorial for Porter Stammer and Lancaster Stammer and various um, like lamentizing techniques okay so that's it guys and uh, thank you for watching